How are you today, guys? Girls, five of you, lost wood last week. Who cares anymore? I do not care anymore. I'm so uninvested in my life this week that I don't care. I've been drinking too much. I've been doing meth. Didn't mean that. Sorry if you're addicted to meth. That was a that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry to say that. But I don't even care this week. I don't care what's going on in the background. I don't care. I have a sports action camera in here. And uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. But, dude, I'm just so sick of it. I am so sick of it. I need a producer in here to help me. I'm just... I mean, what are we, what are we producing, right? That's going to be loud, I bet. I don't even care. I check the watch late. I'll check it when I want. I'm so sick of it. I'm just, I'm about to riff this entire 20 minutes. Cut that off. It's cut off. Okay, we get it. It's done. <sighs> See, look, I'm just, uh, I'm just going to let it ride this week. I'm just not in the mood for all this junk that's going on in my life this week. Um, I worked out today. Got that out of the way. But it really didn't matter that I worked out because I've been drinking too much this week. I've been eating out too much this week. This is my vacation week. Which I, I did a staycation. I am the um, inventor of staying at home on vacation. Okay? Every time I told somebody I was on vacation, I was like, where are you going? I'm just staying home. I'm hanging out this week. I don't even care. I do not care what's going on this week. You ever have a week like that where you're just like, fuck it, dude. I don't even care. I don't care. You could steal my car right now. And I would wait till tomorrow to care about it. That's how. That's at the level, the point that I care right now. And I just, I can't care anymore right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't understand why. I went a year and a half, two years eating healthy and all this. And then I finally get to a, a comfortable spot. Went one week just going ham, eating and drinking, which I, that's that was my mistake. I understand. I, I was I was my natural self this week, the natural fat fuck that I am. And um, I'm paying dividends now. To, and I think dividends are good. And I, I'm not doing that then because, um, you know. I was once a fat man, and now I'm I'm going down that road again. I have taken my vehicle that I was driving down the right path. You know, I hit the gas station, you know, filled up, and I turned back around and went the wrong way, and then just thought I was good, and then got and then I got back into uh, I started seeing familiar places like oh beer, oh cheeseburgers, oh and the weight, the weight. You know how you build a house, you just build like one brick at a time, and then. Finally, that bitch is so heavy you can't do anything with it. It's staying there. That's, that's, <laughs> I am the finished product of a house that was hit by a tornado. That's my life, man. That's my life. But whatever. I was just like, I'm coming in here. I'm not. I'm just riffing. I'm not thinking about anything. I do not. That's the level that I care right now about all five of you. No, I care a, a lot about you five. Not that one who left. That mom. Is that is that you leaving? I get it. I get it. I understand. Hey, I get it. Um, but I just was like, you know, I'm I'm in the mood to do 20 minutes, but I don't care enough to make it great. So I was like, I'm gonna make the worst 20 minutes that I can. I have a sports action camera right here. Okay, so I used to have a GoPro, right? But a GoPro is really expensive, like $300. I was like, you know, that sounds fun. Get a GoPro, you know, go out and do things. So I got a GoPro. I didn't do anything. I was like, why am I going to go skydiving with a $300 camera on my head? First of all, I thought I would do a lot more, cool, like, a lot, like, you know how you watch a GoPro video and they're like, dude, this guy's really snowboarding or he's really surfing. He's really doing it. This camera looks great. This is awesome. And then you realize you get, um, you get a GoPro and you realize, hey, it's not, it's not what they make it out to be. It's like how they they their sponsored videos online are all 4K. You know what it takes to render a file in 4K on a computer? Oh, days. Oh, days. And then you got to upload that video that's going to be massive amounts of memory. And you have to upload that. And hopefully you have good bandwidth if you want to upload it to YouTube in 4K quality. And that's going to take up half the storage on this MacBook that I have. That's good for editing, but it's not good for storing. What is that? That is a garage without a lock. That's what I call it. Just shit. Just You got to just start throwing stuff away. Because this, you are, like every time you put something on this MacBook, it's like you're just closing up the, the path to the door. And you're like, hey man, get your bicycle out of the way. Nobody wants to see your bicycle in the way of the path. And I just... <sighs> 
so I got this camera. It was thirty seven bucks. And I had a twelve dollar coupon or something, or like they gave me twelve dollars. So I got this for twenty six bucks. The memory card, the SD card that will be going in this thing, it costs more than the camera itself. So when I lose this camera or break it or whatever happens to it, I'm not real. I'm not real. Like I'm sure the audio is gonna be crap, which you don't really buy GoPros for the audio unless you're one of those lunatics who vlog with GoPros, because that's what they're made for. Yeah, that's what they're made for. <sighs> I'm so sick of it this week. I am so sick of it this week. And it, I'm a, I'm only six minutes in. Man, and I'm probably not even six minutes in because I probably had to cut 30. Dude, I'm just so sick of it this week. I was like, I'm going in here doing this 20. And, you know, I'll let the... Look, my last video has two views. <laughs> Who... Uh, you know, you know, you gotta laugh or you'll cry. Or, in fact, I'm gonna start vlogging with this sports action camera. That's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna test the theory of this thirty-seven dollar. If you can go on Amazon, dude, I should have got two of them. And then I'm so ready to lose this thing because that was my big fear about the GoPro. Like, I don't want to lose a three hundred dollar camera. I was like, you know what? My brother recently moved to Florida. And he's going to be, I'm like, he's going to be fishing. He's going to be doing all this. The GoPro would be nice. So I was like, hey, man, you can have my GoPro. Sent it to him. I didn't lose it. I gave it to him. I gave it to him. He's gave me enough stuff in my life. He gave me a vehicle one time. I was like, I got to do something. I mean, I gave him a GoPro. I got to give back. And um, so I got this sports action camera with Wi-Fi. And it, it had a, supposedly it has a two-inch LCD screen. And I'm kind of interested to see what that's going to be like. But um, so I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna do a video after this one of me unboxing it. You know, I might, <laughs> I might eat it like all these uh these fat people who get online and just eat and they're trying to lose weight. Amberlynn Reed, <laughs> dude. If if I was you, I would go look up Amberlynn Reed. She cracks me up. I mean, it's sad because she's overweight and she. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I know I spoke about her the last two episodes, that's probably why I lost a subscriber, maybe it was her, well she subscribed to my channel, and I don't, I want to make a, a video, because she does sit down videos 24-7, so I was thinking if she was like sitting at a table, I could do a funny video of like, acting like we're on a date, and that'd be hilarious, but I don't know if that would be controversial, because she's a lesbian, and they'd be like, oh, you're putting um, relationship, whatever, you're putting sexuality into that, and she's not into you, and all that, and I'm like, whatever, whatever, <sighs> can I tell y'all a secret, I've gained 10 pounds this week, Yeah, go on vacation. They said it'd be fun. They said I have uh, I have put everything in my face, everything that is edible in my face except an edible, which would have been nice. Then I would have ate more, dude, dude, dude. Last Tuesday, Monday, something like that, I ate so much at this place called Mr. B's. I threw up, and the worst part is I was not drunk. I had like one or two beers, but we were in a rush leaving, so I chugged that beer. I got in the car. <sighs> no, I wait. That was that. That was, that was after. So we left Mr. B's, went to a local bar. We was only there for a while. We were just chilling. It felt good outside. I was like, we'll just chill outside. And I was, I wasn't even drunk, but I was so full because I had twenty wings and probably and probably five pieces of pizza. And they wasn't. Oh, it was not small pieces. And I smashed them, cuzzo. And I'm saying I got to the next light, and there's a cop dead in front of me. Just, and I felt, you know. I'm not even, like, drunk at all. I'm literally about to throw up just from being sick from all this food. <laughs> so I take the left. I'm just driving, and I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. All of a sudden, I just, my friend talks about last time he threw up or something. Because I, I was telling, saying, dude, I might throw up. And he's like, dude, I, I threw up the other day. <laughs> and the thought of him throwing up made me throw up, and I threw up straight in front of me on my windshield. Like, it slapped that wind. <laughs> It looked like the opposite. You know how you, uh, like a bug hits your windshield and it just splats? That's what it looked like happened. But, and then, luckily, because I'm a man of my word, I slung that door. Oh, hit my camera. Sorry. 
I swung that door open and I just let it loose. And the while I'm driving, it's like, "Hey, man, pull over!" I'm like, "No." We, I was just, I was just hoping the cop that was in front of me didn't turn and see anything. Cause I mean, I was still wouldn't have gotten in trouble. I, he he might have been like, "Dude, you, you, you might give me the DUI test and all that," but I was good. I literally just threw up from eating so much, and it didn't stop there. You guys it didn't stop there. The next day, I just keep eating. I've been eating this week. I've been eating. <laughs> Like I'm trying to gain weight to prove that I'm uh, that I'm royalty around here. Is that is that what they that's what they do in Africa, right? Like the the bigger the women or the bigger the man, women are attracted to them because it's a sign that they're um, not in poverty and all that. Is that prosperity? Is that what is that what's better than pro- poverty? <sighs> oh, it's been a rough week on me, and I just I feel pretty good today. I think it's because I kind of slowed down. And I just kind of was like, we're going to ease back into regular life. Because I got like three more days off still. And I'm just going to take it easy. You know, keep it rolling like it's rolling. Um, I'm surprised at this video. Because that's what the past couple weeks, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go let what happened happen. And that's what what's going to happen. <laughs> Yo, I'm such a good mood today, though. It's like nothing's going right. I had a problem in my life. All right. Let me tell you something. How are you? I have a problem in my life that it's like when everything's going good, I feel like something should be wrong. But when everything's going wrong, I'm like, this is kind of how it's supposed to be. And I can live through that. And I have this terrible knack. I'll call it a knack. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. I'm in shape. I'm going to work. I'm paying my bills. I'm doing what I can. And I'm just like. Uh, does this mean something's going to happen soon? And instead of living in the moment and just enjoying it, enjoying being free and being do and being able to do what I want. And it's limited because I have to go to work when they want me to. So we're going to try to get out of that in the next two years. By the time I'm 30, I want to be, I want to move for sure. I gave myself a lemon, a lemon. <laughs> I've been here like a year back in my, basically my hometown. For like a year and six months, seven months, something like that. So I'm running out of the years to, I got to figure something out, you guys. Because I'm, I'll be 30 in like less than two years, or a little over two years. Two years and a few months, something like that. Yeah, like four months. So I got four months until I'm 28. Then I got, t- then the ball is really going to be rolling. Because the, I was like, the first year, I was like, I'm going to get myself together. Then the second year, I'm going to start doing videos and stuff. I don't know. I got to really plan my third year out. And then my fourth year, I really got to plan where the fuck I'm doing with my life. And um, that's what I'm just trying to do, guys. And I'm just sick. I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of all these problems. And I kind of, I love doing the videos. But I hate dealing with all this equipment. It's like, because I, I do these videos in a place where I really can't leave them out because it's an office. I can't just leave them out in the office. They're nice enough to let me use the office. So when they need their space, I got to move everything out of the way. So I understand. But that's, in fact, why I got my action camera. Because I'm going to be sco- skydiving. I'm going to be skydiving. Just parasailing, you know. <laughs> Selling a pair of shoes to a footless man. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know where I'm going with that. I had a great joke about skydiving that I was going to throw in. I was like, just throw that out there. It might be funny. It might catch one of your subscribers' attention. I think it was, um oh, wind chiming. I was going to say it like, skydiving? Wind chiming? Um, you know, I really need to work on my thoughts. <laughs> I really need to work on my vocab, you know? Um, I always have a fear, too, that people are just going to walk in this room and just do weird stuff, like yell, and I'm like, I have these earphones, these earphones, that's where, I have these earphones on, I have these earphones on, yo, if you're over the age of 25, and you're doing tic-tac, <laughs> tic-tac, fuck off, no, like, I, 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 I ironically want to start a tic-tac, just to be an asshole, that, I, that's what I might do, I might ironically start a tic-tac, but I'm not sure how tic-tac works, I feel like you don't. I'm getting so sick and tired of people not having to be um, talented, and then they get popular. That shit pisses me off. It's like I get it if you're po- if you're talented and you're creative, and you're actually like you know what you're doing. Like the guys who get popular because they let other people edit their videos, which I understand. I understand, but whatever. I'm just bitching. I am just bitching because you know what fat guys do. <laughs> They bitch about other people's lives. I am 10 pounds away from 
uh, destroying my whole life. The life that I built in this past year of being healthy and learning how to eat healthy, I just threw it down the drain. <sighs> Man, where are my ambitions when I need them? Ambitions as a rider, will this get flagged? Will they steal my six cents that I'm going to make on the dollar? Huh? To make her holler? Holler back? <laughs> What's that? It's like holler back. You don't even know what I'm doing this week. I need a guest to come on this show. So if uh, you're cool and you do sports action camera worthy stuff, I will, I will, uh, dude, if you do anything that involves, if you skateboard or anything, I'll let you borrow this. I need it back because I need the footage. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a video, right? We're going to do a video, right? And I'm going to be discussing the camera. Then I'm going to throw in your clips of you doing cool stuff. Because, I mean, who who's going to know? I could literally put... <laughs> I can be ironic about it, and literally, but that's what I should do. I should just go. I should just do a video about this. It's like I got this sports action camera, cause you know I go skydiving and just throw in people videos of people skydiving, and then it's not really gonna be me. That's what I should do. That is in fact what I got this uh, sports action camera for. <laughs> Whoa, dude! We're good. Whoa, what the fuck was that? What? What? <sighs> Dude, you almost think I would be on crack right now, but I, I don't even know why I'm in a good mood. I just found out that <laughs> I gained a fuck ton of weight this week. But I worked out every day, so you know what I'm doing. I'm turning all that fat into muscle fat. It's like I'm shaping my fat. That's what I do around here. It's like, yeah, I'll get fat, but I'll at least have some cool fat, you know? Oh, man. It's really rough out here right now for your boy. And then your boy is me. So, whatever. I don't even care what you're doing anymore. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting so... Um, I, I want to be... When I'm 60, I want to be the angry man. I just... I hope when I'm 60, I have a house. That's also a big fear of mine is that I'll never live in a house. I don't even know why I want to live in a house. And I mean, I've lived in a house before. I'm saying, like, own my own house. But I got to figure something out. I mean... I, I don't know what I'm doing half the time, you guys. If I'm being honest with you. I just kind of walk <laughs> down a path that I'm like, well, something has to be down there. And I've been doing that for years now. And I guess I'm the crazy one. Like, uh, who's that? <sighs> Is it Einstein who said, you're crazy. You keep doing something over and over again. That's what he says. I feel like that's how he said it. Oh, man. It's getting hot in here. I also said that uh, Nelly sung uh, the thong song yesterday. I'm still pissed about that because it's obviously Cisco. I mean, as soon as I said it, and no, that's not me saying all black guys look alike. That was just the same time, the same era. Nelly was hot then. <laughs> I think I, I got a hair in my mouth. I don't even care. It's going to be in the video. I do not care. Dude, if Amber Lynn Reid could sit on her couch and just be big, if she could start a weight loss channel, a weight loss channel, and she gained 250 pounds or some sort of that nature, I could just sit here and do nothing and just get paid for it, right? Give me seven years, six years. Let's do six. And I'm just going to sit here, just look at you, judge you while you're watching this, while you should be doing something important. Do your homework. Go to work. Did you call in today? Me too. No, I didn't. Uh, I'm on vacation, like I said. But um, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start taking marketing strategies out of Amberlynn Reed's um, playbook. I'm just going to start calling my fans jerks, start saying, hey, quit judging me. Yes, I know I gained 250 pounds. Yes, I only had 1,200 calories today. I do not know how I'm gaining weight. I don't understand it. It's a sad, sad, lonely world. That's how lonely I am. I just bought a sports action camera to do sports action stuff that I'm not going to do. You know? this. I wonder if I'm going to use this. <laughs> Insert cool clip of video that I'm not in. That's what I'm going to do. So... After this, I'm really just uh, getting sick and tired of it. I am no longer caring about anything. I'm literally just going to freestyle my conversation with myself to no one until somebody watches and says, hey, man, this sucks. You should try something else. And then I'll try something else. But I can't. Like, I wish I could just not. I don't want to call it sellout because I don't think selling out really exists because I feel like you work hard enough to make money doing what you love. So how can you call somebody a sellout when they this is their part of their plan to make money doing it so they don't have to work some bullshit job? So, in fact, I wish I could just be fake and just 
But I feel like everybody, like people in my circle, like my friend, my family and friends, I just feel like some people don't have the people to call them out. Like I feel like my my family, they hate dick bag. You can't sit here and talk to 12-year-old girls on TikTok. It's weird, man. It's weird. But, you know, that's what some guys do. Or girls. I think if you're over the age of 25, you should not be on apps that have a 12+. plus. That 12 plus should end at 17, and then 18 and over should be anything else. They should have separate apps. Why are they allowing 12-year-olds to get on social media apps? When I was a kid, you had to be... I think I messed my audio up. You, When I was a kid, you had to be like... What did you have to be? When I was a kid, you had to be like... You had to lie and say you are 18, which I guess you could still lie. <laughs> so, I mean, who's going to win? It's just all, it's all wrapped up in something that we don't understand. Kind of like the universe. Pothead thought, that's what I call that. Um, I hope the audio didn't just crank out, crack out on me. Because I really, I, I guess I hit this knob. This knob that turns everything down and up. And um, we're going to just hope that everything worked out well for me this week. And I don't even care. If you watch this, I do not care. Go watch this video. Go watch this one. I don't care. Um, but we're gonna get out of here. All right, have a love, a lovely life that you're living. Oh, I can't remember. Mm. This is thirty-seven bucks on Amazon. Hey, sports action camera made by Devovo, Devola, Devo, De, De, is it Devola? Anyways, uh, check me out on my next video. I don't even care. Fuck off. Randy. Randy. Bye, guys. Don't let the door hit you on the way out.